more than others. In today's economy, we can purchase fruits from around the world in our own neighborhood grocery store. In his speech today, Derek will tell us about a lesser known fruit that gets no respect at all. This speech is entitled, The Fruit That Gets No Respect. <laughs> Please welcome Derek. fleshy or sweet part of a plant that can be eaten. Fruits come in many shapes and sizes, and many of us have seen fruit since we were little kids and enjoyed it. I mean, fruit has been around since the dawn of the humans. Adam and Eve had fruit in the Garden of Eden, and the plenitude of fruit was, that was in that garden was a multitude of it, good and bad fruit. The thing is, not all fruit is created equal. Not all fruit has a good reputation or gets no respect. The apple. The apple has a great reputation and gets respect. And all of us being in Wenatchee, Washington, the apple capital of the world, we know a lot about apples. Especially me. I work in the apple industry at Treetop. Washington State produces about 125 million 40-pound apple boxes a year. That's a lot of apples. And Washington State supplies about 80% of the U.S. market of apples, or about 20% of the export market. Americans also eat about 70 pounds of apples a year. We all grew up hearing the story of Johnny Appleseed. That's near and dear to our heart. We all know that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And somebody can be the apple of your eye. <laughs> the apple has a great reputation. It gets a lot of respect. The orange. <clears throat> when I see an orange, I think I get warm and fuzzies. I think of Florida. Personally, I love oranges too because I would get an orange every Christmas in my stocking. I look forward to sinking my teeth into that beloved orange, waiting for my parents to wake up to open gifts. Americans also like eating oranges, or an average American eats about 20 oranges a year, or about 12 pounds. Great reputation. The banana, again, great reputation. Actually, interesting statistic about the banana, if you took a poll right now, 96% of American households would have a banana occupying the counter right now. People love bananas. The average American household eats 84 bananas a year, or 28 pounds. Bananas are known for being a quick snack on the go. You don't have to package it. You can stick it right in your backpack. They also contain a lot of potassium. Great for your immune health. Great for your uh, nervous system. Also used in cartoons when you want to make somebody slip. <laughs> Great reputation. But I'm not here to tell you about all the fruits that have a great reputation. I'm here to talk about a fruit that gets no respect at all. And I'm going to tell you about a story. I was hiking a couple weekends ago up to Kolchak Lake, my buddy and I. We get to the lake, we're tired, ready to plop down, pull out our bag of goodies for a snack. My buddy pulls out his bag of trail mix. I pull out my bag of dates. He looked at me like I pulled out a bag of laxatives. <laughs> he even had the nerve, the nerve to say, my dates look like a turd. <laughs> the dates 
have a terrible reputation. And just to further that point, earlier this year, the date industry actually published a scholarly article titled Date Fruit, the Underutilized Fruit Seeks Industrial Valorization. Now, for those of you who don't know what valorization means, because I didn't, I had to look it up. It means to create or bolster the price of or create value in. Why would you have to create value of a fruit that has a great reputation? Obviously, it has a poor reputation if they're trying to create value of it. Well, I'm here to convince you that we should eat more dates. For three reasons. Number one, they're great for your health. <clears throat> and they're great for your diet. So for one, they promote your digestive health. They're a quick, easy snack. And if, if I go home and I'm hungry, I might pop down on the couch, grab a bag of potato chips, finish that, and move into the bag of M&Ms. After that, <laughs> I might go in and finish that tub of ice, ice cream in the freezer to get full. Well, it's all said and done, add all that, all that, add all that up, that's like 1,200, 1,500 calories. If I go home, plop down on the couch, grab my box of dates, eat like three or four of these, I'll feel full. That's like 400 calories. 1,200, 400. Great for your diet. Next reason why you should eat dates, because they're a superfood. Dates were actually prescribed back in the day for people who were anemic. Dates are high in iron. They're also high in magnesium, manganese, and selenium. And selenium is known to help prevent cancer. They're a superfood. Third reason we should eat more dates, that they just plain taste great. All those natural sugars, the sucrose, glucose, fructose, all combine into this wonderful, delectable, morsel treat. They're also high in fiber. And, like my example, they make for a great snack on the go when you're out hiking. Great energy. Now, I don't think you would ever tell somebody that they're the date of your eye. <laughs> I don't think you would ever confuse the sunny disposition of the orange and a date. <laughs> You might tell your boss he's the big banana, but I wouldn't tell your boss he's the big date. <laughs> I was going to insert another joke here, but I couldn't find one that was appealing. <laughs> so, as you can see, the date gets little respect at all. But we should eat more dates because they're great for your diet, they're great for your health, and they're a superfood, and they just plain taste great. So next time you're in the grocery store, you walk by the dates in the aisle, I don't want you just to walk by and not think of them again. I want you to buy them, I want you to eat them, I want you to enjoy them, and you will prosper in many ways. I will leave you with one last statement. <clears throat> What school subject is the fruitiest? History, because it's full of dates. 